You can do KOTOR 2, but I, I think we need another new game. And so I've got two that I think would work. Alright? <laughs> I have, I, I, I'm leaning towards one called Majestic. It's more Miss Style. Okay? But it takes place on a spaceship. What? It's Mist in Space! It's Mist in Space. Okay. Does that sound interesting enough? Yes, it does. What's the other one? The other one's called uh, Ripley's Believe It or Not, uh, The Riddle of Master Lou. Mm -hmm. And it's more of a traditional action game, or uh, adventure game, uh, third person, point and click, that sort of thing. Um, and it takes place in the 30s, 1935, I think. Oh, that's cool. And you just go around the world and solve the mystery. I like that. That sounds fun. You ready for that one? I'll let you guys decide, because I'll be happy. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Have you done both of them? I have. But, uh, I don't remember either of them too well, but I'm sure this is who it plays. Them. Alex, what are you letting him do to you? Yeah, Alright, well, while you guys we are setting that up, <laughs> let me get him ready for bed. Mist in Give me the space! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, you giggle boy. Well, we, we can't play the other one anyway, because I forgot to copy it, so... Oh, there we go! Hello. Yeah, Are it's you sure? I'll copy it. You may have to feed her dinner. Oh, good. I'm glad you're getting that done. Let me, let me set, the, set up the game. Thanks. If you want to talk in the meantime or something. I was going to see what Abby's doing over here on the little table. Okay, cool. You're putting out the fire with your little puppers? Oh, it's the kitties. Good job. Oh, you got to fix that battery. I don't know why they keep sending it to me. It's broken. It's broken. Okay. Okay. Fresh see bulbs. you Wednesday. Bye. I've got the bird song stuck in my head. <laughs> <sighs> big switch. Good job. You fixed the power. What's going on here, bud? What happened? We getting a rash? What's happening, babe? Hey, 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 stop it. Stop it. Al, did you give him something? No. You didn't have him try anything new today? No, it was the banana granola thing and then prunes this morning. Nothing else? No, no fruit? No nothing? Milk. He has this weird rash on his belly. Let's see if this works. Some stuff. Let me update the stream. So back in November, it became available on GOG and Steam. What? Yeah. This game doesn't appear. Oh my god, this game's not doesn't even have a category. Or maybe it's just this. I'll just make it majestic. <laughs> that's that's probably it, right? Part one, alien encounter. There was no part two, so just. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. <laughs> so it's clear, like, oh, it's cool. They were banking on it. Part of the game. They were banking on it hard. All right, kiddo. I don't know what's going on with this rash on your belly. So you need to. What's weird is that there are. I, I, I remember like the first half of this game, and I clearly remember 
my dad and I sitting at the computer, and I remember pointing things out, like, at the age of, like, six or seven, and I figured out, like, pu like I was just like, I still clearly remember boom, figuring boom. out, like, puzzles. I'm like, that's, that's a password! I got it! I got it! That's the password for this! Oh my god! That's awesome. Um, there is a really, really tough puzzle in this. Okay. I know exactly which one it is. God, stop. And I don't remember the solution to it. Uh -oh. I'm actually kind of glad, though, because... I know. I, I I think at that point, I'm going to... It's near the end, and I'm going to step back and be like, you guys figured this out. Uh, which I'm going to do anyway for most of the game. But... <laughs> Miles, let it go. Well, that sucks. What? Quarter Bunge did little to promote the game apart oh, from a brief um, mention yeah. in a press release I and know. enthusiastic statements by executives. In part uh, due to the entire Quarter Bunge marketing team quitting in the weeks before its release, SoftBank pulled out of the game market, dissolving its subsidiary Game Bank and canceling dozens of titles in development, yep. including the nearly finished PlayStation for the Last Express. Yep. And as a final blow, Quarter Bunge was acquired by the Learning Company, yep. which was not interested in the Last Express. Within Correct. a year of its release, the last request was out of print. I know. And Macro's company, Smoke and Car Productions, quietly folded. Oof! Yeah, so, uh, you know Kevin O'Leary on Shark Tank? I do. Mm -hmm. That's him. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. Wow. He basically imploded murder bone. Yeah, that sucks. The last request was a total and commercial failure. So it's a lot of that. So basically, Broder Ben's end is, by the way, it's Riven, which did sell well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Legacy of Time. Which, which did okay. Which did okay. It broke even. Yeah. And the Last Express, which did not do well because they sh basically cut off the Yeah, market. they basically, yeah. That's the end of Broderbond. They, they end with three great games. Yeah. And that's, that's They it. should have had so much more time. That's yeah. sucks. Yeah. Last Express was run off the Computer Gaming World, CNET Game Centers, and GameSpot's game, Adventure Game of the Year, which went to... Ribbon. Curse of Monkey Island. Okay, that's fine. And Dark Earth. I still prefer Dark Curse of Monkey Island. Because I, I think parts. Of, I think Curse of Monkey Island definitely it's definitely longer. Mm -hmm. There's definitely more puzzles, and it's just fun as hell. Like, I think going back to you say the humor. It, it's very tough to compare a comedy game yeah, and a serious game though. But I still have to give Curse a ten. I mean, neither of you did, but I think you both gave it nine and a half. So, yeah. right. I. I I think it has the extra. Lots of mobile ports. Yeah, the chaos is. Film adaptation. They've been talking about that for years. Paul Verhoeven. That'd be great if Paul Verhoeven did a movie again. In the 2010 interview, he said, I'm working on a movie now that is situated in 1914, basically Indiana Jones issue, you'd say. But also Hitchcockian. Yeah. Source, he also saved the source material as a video game. But the writer of video games has to keep the identity of the game secret until he has a script. In 2011, he confirmed that he's working with Mechner to develop the film adaptation. That's still nine years ago, so. What, uh, has Mechner done anything since? He did, didn't he do some game more recently? I think so. I'm really disappointed. We ne I never pl finished The Last Express with my oh, dad yeah, then years ago. I mean, you other than the Prince of Persia yeah. game from Karateka. What? Other than Karateka and the Prince of Persia game, I can't think of anything that we did Not building to put that mermaid back together. Lodography for the character games, the Prince of Persia games, and Last Express. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a microphone mod. In 2012, we did character for the 360. Then he wrote a book called Templar. And that's the last thing he's done with his life, according to Wikipedia. Oh, never mind. He uh, got married in 2014 and divorced in 2014. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> so he also did that.
We've killed so many Serbians. <laughs> Miles, what is your major malfunction? Oh shit, Mike asked, what the, what's the address again? Not that they're coming here yet. Whoops. Well, uh, Making that sound. Oh, he's pooping. <laughs> Alex knows as a chronic <laughs> pooper. As an expert. As a, cro- as a chronic pooper. <laughs> I suffer from. Uh... <laughs> I mean, I don't know how to tell you this. I'm pretty Persi- sure we're all Persistent poopy. Persistent poopy. Jesus, Al. Let's do this right now. Do this right now. <laughs> what did you just say, Alex? I said, as a chronic pooper. I suffer from persistent poopy face. It doesn't matter. It's not up. Drew, Drew lied. I'll, I'll leave it up all day tomorrow. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> of course, that's getting commented on immediately. Sorry, guys. Hey, bud. Hmm? I'm not going far. Relax. Miles, you got to chill, dude. Yeah, you definitely want poopy, but I'll change it in a second. Table for me so I can just wipe it down really quick. Both tables, well, not that table, but that table. Ow. 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 I'm gonna change you. Give me a minute. Everything off this table? Yes, please. I'm gonna wipe it down. Looked a little. The blue guy was uh, a. Yeah, yeah, the dog was there. there. She could have just been like, oh, look at the dog. That's right. And the blue guy was like, all right, here's your dog. The blue guy wouldn't have been like, here's your dog because he was following the the I'm gonna change you. What are you talking about? 
what's his name wanted to get that dog out of there. The, uh, the, the guy who got us at the end with the firework. Why did he care about the dog? Because, the, because he needed to get the, uh, his, like, helper into Anna's room. So he said, remember, he was like, don't worry, I'll take care of the dog. Oh, you're right. And then it was after that that the dog was taken out. By the way, the dog jumping out of the uh, train car at the yeah. end so was, cool. was just like Independence Day. Oh, when the stupid dog jumps into oh, the quickest of the That dog. moment still gets me. Oh, no. It's such a dumb movie. It is such a dumb movie. I feel for that dog, man. I feel for all of us. What's the best scene in that movie? Welcome to Earth. <laughs> I was going to say, the scene where Jaden gets ripped up by an alien? No, it's when, it's when, it's near like, the beginning when Will Smith is like looking outside and he's like, hey, the neighbors are going on vacation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. And he's like just peeing. And then he walks outside, pick up the newspaper, and hey, the neighbors are going on vacation. <laughs> Miles, my dude. I'll be right there to change you. I know you're poopy. I'm coming. Are you poopy, Miles? Are you poopy? He had prunes, Alex. Are you poopy? I'm close. As really close to the mic as possible to say that. Are you poopy? Are you poopy, Miles? We got yeah. the audio of Hoop saying, are you poopy? <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way. All right, bud, let's change you down here where people don't have to see you. By the way, who? Yeah. I don't know if you've heard the new Doomway uh, audio. Yeah. For the follow Yeah, I heard it. But we gotta change that. <laughs> yeah. What? I, yeah. What is it? I don't. You know, th there's a limit to what I want to say. Oh wait, is it that but now sound? That it's, yeah, now it's that, that it's sound. Which sound? Which one are you talking about? The one I the one that scared the crap out of me. Uh, and, and Seraph? The one that Jackie doesn't want me to ever play again. It's yeah. it's, it's and the one that while I was playing yesterday happened, and I went, oh Jesus. <laughs> Remember? Oh, what the hell was that? No. <laughs> Remember like, oh, when follow. I told you I don't like THX sound? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the, same the same feeling. No boy. That's my foot. Miles, come on, babe. <laughs> Ugh. I leave that decision up to you guys. <laughs> I, I defer. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to take it. I'll never want to get another follow. <laughs> <laughs> That's prune poop. Good job, bud. That's a prune poop. That's number wang. <laughs> That's, That's number wang. Uh, That's number wang. That's wang or dumb. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. That is not number wang. <laughs> I like the number wang code video. <laughs> <laughs> Jaws. <laughs> oh my god. Number one. Also, the stream right all right now. The stream is there's a baby crying. Right. Alex is looking at his phone, and there's this really cool synth music just blaring. <laughs> <laughs> is it really cool synth? Yes. I do like the score for this game. It's very like synth. Fairly fast. Gonna fit somehow. Synth heavy score. God, Miles, you are just like making it so much harder than it has to be. Uh, Stop it! Hold still. So this is the uh, this is the first Macromedia Director game we're gonna be playing on screen. Um, well, the original Journeyman project was Macromedia Director. The version we played was not. Okay. Um, what so, does that mean exactly? Uh, Macromedia Director was a basically it's the forerunner to Flash. Okay. Uh, it was a very simple way of being able to do uh, simple animations and static screens and you know click on the screen and you can make something happen. Right. It's not as simple as HyperCard like the original Mist uh, Mac version was based on. It's a little more complicated than that. Do you uh, He's not our butler, Jeff. <laughs> I asked. I didn't say go open the door, jackass. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, 
This because basically your blade to the butler doesn't make it to the butler. <laughs> uh, <laughs> director uses this la language called Lingo as a scripting language. Okay. Uh, it's probably a little bit more advanced than that. That sounds really card. familiar. I don't know. Matt, is, it's a... Uh, Lingo is a word that's... Uh, no, that's not... I know... Mm. It was also a, a, a game show starring Chuck Lorre. I know Lurie. that. My parents watched the game show network on you know, ad nauseum. <laughs> Lingo's such a I really didn't so like. Did mine, Jack. I Lingo really didn't like Lingo. I don't think it's such a good game. Lingo was okay. I wasn't a huge fan. Lingo was sick. Give me match game. Yeah, I'll take match I game. Mean, I prefer match game for sure, but I was fine with Lingo. All right, who's which one of you can call this? <gasps> Bud, come on. Did you just poop? No. He just spit up all over me. Oh, buddy. Come on, man. Alex, you control him. Um. I suppose, unless Jackie wants to. What is the game? I'm sorry. This, this is, is the aliens. In space. Mi Al Alex, you control it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. you, you know what you're gonna get then, Jackie? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> so you're. <laughs> I know, but I got the kids. I mean. You cannot have this. Oh. <laughs> Does commit suicide pretty pretty funny. Mm -hmm. Did it commit suicide? I don't know for sure. Alex, you on vacation? It's usually a safe bet. <laughs> Dude. You are telling some serious things to Matt. What do you want, Miles? He's been making this face lately when he like gets really upset. He goes. Like, it's that weird, like, scrunched-up face. He just hasn't figured out that he's doing it yet. No. I know, I know. You know what? Are you ready to go to bed early? Because you didn't get good naps in today? Do you want me to go get your binky? I thought you'd want to stay up and see Mike and Dawson. More like they want to see you. Yeah. yeah. You cannot put him in bed yet. Mike and Dawson will be devastated. All right, let me just get him a nap then. Let me just get him a nap then, because he's going to be a butt. Abby, honey? When food is here, when it's dinner time, no tablet. Right, we're gonna put the tablet away once food gets here, okay? Abigail? Acknowledge me in the words that come out of my mouth. <laughs> Acknowledge me! Once when food gets Where here, okay? Where did it go? Where did you go? And you have to say nice eyes. I know I had it somewhere. Like awesome. Thank you, Matt. Yeah. Okay? I was just thinking I should get the chair. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's right. It was also in the way. So we have you... headphones for people? Uh, I told them to bring stuff. But uh, I think we have it anyway, because you've got your earbuds and I've got my spare. Right, that's true. I've got some extra stuff. So. I think we're okay if they forget, but I did also remind them. Alright, this thing's plugged in. How is this massage thing, by the way? Um, I don't know. I haven't really used it. Okay. It's too loud to use during stream. Yeah, that's fair. And I'm never really sitting over there unless I'm streaming. So I might want to reposition it, but there's like nowhere. I don't really. I don't really sit down. <laughs> I don't really sit down. That's like an I'll odd bet. phrase to say, Alex. I'll bet. Says the person who's like Sitting. half laying down right now. Right. I correct. I don't do a lot of okay. sit I do a decent amount of laying. I'm not No, you're not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not arguing. I am. I'm telling you, you're full of it. Okay, you're full of it. The only sitting I do is when I'm streaming, Jackie. Which is and I've already, a lot. And I've already explained that I, I don't use it while I'm streaming because of the sound. Abigail. Taste it. Yeah. Is it yummy? Oh, good. Alright, you. Let's get a little nap in, okay? Come on, fresh clean binky. Should I like me to move this stuff, Alex? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> Down below! <laughs> Perfect. I'll forget about it till next month and then sure. clean it then. Alright. Hang on, let me get my headphones on. Okay. <laughs> 
So this is Riven in space. Got it. Mist in space. Mist in space. Got it. <laughs> She was Earth's finest pleasure cruiser. <laughs> crowning achievement in space travel. Okay. A vessel of unprecedented luxury and comfort. Okay. On her maiden voyage, she set sit. Why? I'm already, I'm already off to a bad start, guys. Why? <laughs> because the phrase when, pleasure cruiser? No, because I didn't hear cruiser at first. And it was like, she was Earth's greatest pleasure. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure where this was going. We have long since abandoned the search for the Majestic, however, we've just picked up a faint signal which may be her locator beacon. The signal originates from somewhere within the Pleiades Nebula. There's no chance we'd ever be in, on Venus, just putting that out there. See our closest field archaeologist, we're sending you a message. Well, what, 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 oh, Venus Observatory. Yeah, there's like, no way we'd ever be like, on Venus. Just, just putting that out there. I did that. I did that be, experiment. It could be orbiting Venus. They could have just could called it the Venus. It could have just called the Venus Observatory. Could. We could. I think there's probably a For Venus sure. Observatory on Earth right now. Look it up. <laughs> Do you want me to? No. I don't fucking care. Who's <laughs> like I don't know where my phone went, so I can't do it for you. It's probably over there somewhere. Isn't that where they actually found a planet that they could possibly believe is... Um, I don't know. I just know what the Japanese word for Pleiades is. What is it? Subaru. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, no, I believe you. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I didn't mean it like that. I was, I was surprised. That was not what I was expecting. That's why the, the nebula's on the logo. Seven stars. Oh, that's cool. You're such a tired little boy. So it's the Subaru Nebula? Yeah. It's the Subaru Nebula. So uh, you've got these things, you're basically, you know, you know, you're controlling these four robots throughout the entire game. You've got four of them. Uh, one, two, three, four. You can switch between them at any time. Cool. Um, uh, so you've got three. You're all the same. You're all, you're all, you're all the start. That's that's always back up Alex. when you get there. Stop just kidding. Stop. Let me explain. Please Jesus. stop. Jesus. You've got three things in the top Jesus. left. I think T is torch, S is scan, and L might be light. I don't know. Wood and torch and light be the same thing? No. no. Torch is like uh, cut fire. Yeah, it's like literally. A it's bed. not a British torch. Like a torch it's a torch kind of torch. Okay. Um, so uh, you're currently on your ship, which is not the majestic. You're looking at the majestic now. And uh, you can go to any of those five entry points. That's the system button, which of course leads to like other shit. I, I don't know. No, please don't do that. It's, it's not like. Al, chill. What are you doing, Al. Alex? Can Alex, I, save? I swear to God. Can I not save? Al, at the beginning of the game. Alex, look at I me. To just look at me. So Alex, can... look at me. Please, for the love of God, show some restraint this time. I was just wanted to set up a save file. So You're that fine. Quickly you save. You're fine with okay. the saves. Don't worry. Yeah, it's this button that works. Okay, so this just changes. Oh, link. link. Yeah, that's that's connect to computers. That's what it is. Well, let's send one to the bridge. I have to say, I like the idea of, like, instead of it being a person walking through, like, the reason you get the camera angles the way you do is because it's literally a camera. I like that. That's kind of cool. I would have sent one to the lounge. I'm gonna. I might pull that one back and send it to the airlock. Oh my god, he was so tired. He's already out. Is, is this supposed to be like abandoned? It's abandoned, right? Okay. Effectively. Is this gonna be like sunshine now? Could be. That'd be very sweet. Weapons control station. Bridge currently under command lock. We don't have it, do we? Bad. 
bad dong. Okay, it's quite a long code, huh? Potentially a long code. Okay. I'm saying I'm not sure that you're gonna use all the spaces. It is. It... Okay, that just sends you back to the shuttle. Data storage. Home control. Can you link up to any of them? There you go. After painfully long festivities, we finally got the Majestic out of port. Sometime around 1300, I'll be picking confetti out of my hair for weeks. We are now on our way to our first port of call. Turnorp. From there is... What a dumb name. It is dumb. From there it's Hennet and Plaspo. Well, there's some great also names there. Also dumb. Should prove an uneventful if dull trip. Arrived at Turnorp. <laughs> Left Turnorp. <laughs> All right, Turnorp. Realize it's called Turnorp. <laughs> Left Turnorp. <laughs> the only bright spot about this trip has been bumping into my old friend Roland Carson, the Baron of Sombry, on my way no, to the bridge. Yes, the Baron of Sombry <laughs> in Turnorp. In Turnorp. He told me to watch for icebergs. I'll try to heed his advice. Are you serious? <laughs> He's making a joke. I know. We've been called, thanks, man. We've been called, of You're course, welcome. by an official order of the fleet. It seems a dignitary, some sort of professor of alien studies, has insisted on passage aboard the Majestic. After picking her up on Lop, oh, Jesus Christ, I will have to take the Majestic into the Pleiades Nebula to get her back on course to head it. Lop. We've picked up Professor Miller and are now on our way to the Pleiades. I would avoid taking the ship through the Nebula if I could, but we'll lose a week if we try to go around it. We entered the Pleiades Nebula at 1900. I told my men to be on their toes. Meanwhile, the passengers are bickering. That damn professor keeps pestering the Baron for some insane, some inane reason. Refereeing, squabbling passengers. Not what you had in mind when you became a fleet captain, was it, Jack? I don't know. Was it, Jack? Look at that picture. He looks like he had a couple. Was there any information in Look here? Look He's like, he had his, he choked, and then he took the picture. You got, the, you got the pet. Good. 16. I guess I, there's definitely stuff you're going to want to write down in this game. Is there? Okay. Can I have the pencil that's on the table? Yeah. Do we want anything from here? Do we want to write down some um, entry like links or names? Or from one place to the Oh, other? I don't think I'll forget these names, but I'll write them down anyway. I mean, I got How could you forget Turnor, Pennet, Plasfo, and Lop? Lop. I was going to say, don't forget Lop. Here, I'll, let, me, let me make sure I, I record these stellar names. Get it, stellar? Okay, so they're they're going to <laughs> Waka get it? What and add, waka. Add, just give you a good waka waka for your I get it. it. <laughs> I love it. Waka waka and rock. Alright. Okay, so you went from Turn North to head it to Plasvo was originally the plan, right? Yes, but they picked up the guy in Lop and the way to the Plasfo, right? Or on the way to Hennet? Arrived to turn up, oh, the left turn up. Called off course. Picking her up on Lop. Now, so, okay, so Lop was in between. Yeah, Lop and then to Got the it. Pleiades Nebula. Got it. And then on the way to the Pleiades to get to Hennet. So the Pleiades is in between? Yeah. So it was turn or Lop, Pleiades Nebula, to Hennet. Okay. And they never made it to Hennet or Plasma. I just spelled just Pleiades so, wrong because we're in the Pleiades Nebula right now. I still spelled it wrong. What Whatever. was his I name? Was that was Jack. Jack. Jack, Jack Reynolds. Reynolds. Here, I'll, I'll write that down too. Don't worry. Captain uh -huh. Jack Reynolds. And Captain Jack will get you high. <laughs> I was thinking more along a, <laughs> this is the tale. Of Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't think there's anything else to scan in. You here couldn't link you. the other one. Oh, you can get to there, right? I, right, yeah, right, I, right. I linked both. These what ones. about the the thing in front here, the the piano key looking thing? That's the weapons control, which you also, can't link that. I did. It also requires a control. Thing. Okay. So no oh, two. So if you look at the bottom, it shows you what, what the yeah two quarters. Oh no! Is that looks like an iPad? Captain Jack Reynolds quarters. Equal, okay. Oh, so it's gravity. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. I'm wondering why they're floating, and then I realize we're in space. Space? Surprise. Harry and Betty arrived home and dwelled happily ever after. Can you write that down, Ducky? Yes. 
Harry and Betty. Uh, Harry and Betty. No, no, no. Just do H A B A H A D H E A. Okay, hang on. H A B. Wait, do you want me to do the capitals just, and everything? Just the first letter, no. Just the first okay. letter. H A B A. Mm -hmm. Then. H A D. H A D. H E A. H E A. Now that's his what? That's Jack's. That's gonna be Jack's password. Okay, I'm okay. You hope. I'll put Jack. It, it might just mark? be. It might just be H B A H D H E A. No, that's the whole thing. Because it's the whole of the. Thing. I was gonna say. I'm pretty sure it's the whole thing. Okay. One. Yeah, back here. H A B A H A D. H A D H E A. So that's where we are. That's where they are. You can click on the dots, maybe. Yeah. Majestic. So that's the coordinate. Okay, so I'm gonna write down the yep. coordinates. Yep, we're we are on the majestic. That's 150, 111, 10. Majestic that's 150, 111, 10. Yep. And then our shuttle is 150, 110, 10. Hang on, 150. 111. 111, 10. Okay, yeah. and then ours? And then we are at 150, 110, 10. Oh. What is ours again called? 150, 110, 10. What is our ship called? Shuttle. 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 One fifty, one ten, ten. There's an unknown vessel at one sixty, one twelve, twelve. Unknown. At one sixty, one twelve, twelve. Yep. And then there's an anomaly detected in the nebula. At Do I need to write that down? Yes. Spatial anomaly. One forty, one twenty, twelve. One forty, one twenty, twelve. Should I, what should I shoot here, Jackie? I'm sorry? 140, 120, 12. Fire. Enter. Enter, dum dum. Okay, what was the unknown? 160, 112, 12. Yep, you hit clear, because you. Yeah. Are you sure you want to do that? Do it. It was a red thing, so I figured it was probably bad. Hey, but we don't know what that does. It killed the thing. There was a red circle. Yep. You're good. Don't worry about it. There's no, there's no dead ends in this. Save. Okay. <laughs> As usual, Alex says save, and then... <laughs> expects you to do it. No. No. Oh, right, he starts moving it. Oh, what the hell was the damn extension? I'll do it again. Trash save that text. Whatever. Good enough. That path doesn't exist. The jackass. <laughs> so which one did you you got rid of the unknown, right? Al? Yes. Okay, so let me at least put like an X in front of that so we know that's been dealt with. I definitely recall my dad and I figuring that one out. The, the password? Yeah. Let's go to the probe launch station. We want to send a probe into the nebula. Mpud. Mpud. What a dumb name. <laughs> Control console. So, link to the console. I just want to see what else is over here. It's a window, it's nothing. Shuttle. Crane control pod. Space. <laughs> Space! <laughs> what is that? Looks like a giant it's a game controller. Crane. It looks like a gigantic <laughs> magneto crane. It's literally called magneto crane. I know. 
but it looks like a giant game controller. Okay, shuttle. <laughs> it just drops it. Always like that. Still a shuttle. <laughs> it's still a shuttle. Well, <laughs> you scanned it again. I, I know. know I just love the way you said it, though. Was that the thing you blew up? No. That just happens to be here now. Are you sure? Yes. What if you were to fire at your own coordinates? Let's give it a shot. 150, 110, 10. We've already column. saved, Al. Boom. Well, we blew up our shuttle. I didn't mean our ship. I meant the one we were on, jackass. The script, Eric. That's why we're not found. Dead. <laughs> they didn't even script the game for it. <laughs> the death isn't even there. Wow. I guess they just didn't expect anybody to be that dumb. Little do they know. <laughs> we're on it. <laughs> you fired on your own ship. I thought you were like, oh, there's no deaths here. That was good. Okay, let me rephrase that. <laughs> First off, I believe I believe what I said is that there were no dead ends. Yes, that's true. Secondly, there I don't think there are deaths unless you torpedo your own ship, Alex. Okay. <laughs> one fifty, one eleven. Oh my God, Alex. Ow. Well, I want to see if it even just sells us that we can't do it. No target. Okay. What's four? Four is the lounge. Okay. I have to say, I kind of like the uh, journeyman feel to this. If that makes sense. Yes, you're going to get a lot of that. Mom, hmm? I'm making magic. You are? Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. All right, let's I get know. out of the command. Are you making a spell? Yeah. A fairy spell? Yeah. I'm a fairy pickle. <laughs> you can't touch it. I won't touch it. On the scan. Can't go on there. Interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Thoughts, Jackie? Thoughts for what to do? Can you go back to the bridge for me? Mm -hmm. Mommy. Hmm? I'm gonna make her makeup. You're gonna do her makeup? That sounds great. This game looks like space. Yes. <laughs> it is space. It's called Majestic. Shows his it's log, which we already did. Mommy, it's very touchable. It's very touchable? Uh -huh. you touch it. I won't touch it. Can I get on to the... It's rude to touch a lady's oh, yeah. makeup after you do it. You gotta go to the log and turn around, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do her eyes. Oh, Jackie. Do not be alarmed, human. I have come here to retrieve that which is mine, but mine is not responsibility for disaster on this vessel. A vessel collided with unknown, empty when I arrived. I am presented to you by hologram and translator, otherwise see me you cannot. I exist in another, in other dimension. Leave me in peace to find what I must find and I will you. I already blew up one of your ships, I think, but okay. Probably. 
So engineering. You can always turn around. You can go back, turn around to go back to the like thing. the launch station. Promenade. Let's go to the. Oh. Yeah. How's it? That looks like a data pad. Portable data unit. Professor Norma Miller. Okay, you want to write her down? Yes. Trailer transcript. Alien leaving. Professor. You're one of them. Yes, Professor. Together we arranged this meeting, and now you're trying to leave before the team got started. I didn't arrange any of this. You brought the vessel here. We are in this together. You didn't tell me you were going to attack the ship. You never asked. Now, do you have the item? The artifact is gone. I don't have it. Who? The Baron. The Baron has it. I won't be needing you any longer, Professor Miller. Oh, boy. Here's the beta code for the phase viewer imaging system. Okay, hang on. Wait, wait. I There's still a few bugs that need to work out, but generally... Is it that number up top? No. No, you don't have to write this down. Okay. So we've downloaded this. So, phase, yes. So, uh, it, there'll be a few points where that'll light up, and you'll be able to use it as, like, bonus thing to see something, and sometimes it's required. The pilot station over there is disabled. So I think that gets transferred to all the other nodes at the same time, so if you click on one or two or four, you should still see the phase viewer icon. Okay. I'm going to head out over here. First and foremost, do we want to go to the lifeboat launch, the engineering, or the promenade? I'd like to see engineering personally. Okay. Engineering it is. Okay, so this allows us to see the guy, the alien. Right. Can't do it from this angle. Access link denied. This is the engineer control station. They're aiming at your ship, by the way. We're attempting to. Are they really? Yeah. That's what they. That's. But they don't have the code to do it like you did. I don't think you can get it again. Alex immediately clicked through it. Right. Because, I, I as usual, to, he's really click happy. I tried to click him. Well, don't worry about it. Uh, All right, well, I guess we're going to the promenade. She looks so pretty, Abby. Yeah. You did a good job. Yeah. Elevator, main hall. I want to do other well, let's things. Let's try to finish mine. off this floor hmm? first before we go to the elevator. Okay, go ahead. Take care of the fairies. Again, immediately clicking right into the next thing. That's fine. Go to the what door. kind of things? What kind of things? Like growing. Okay, go ahead and do growing. Back the dining hall or the kitchen? No, this one. Let's go to the kitchen. Okay. You can play until food gets here, honey. You can play whatever you want until food gets here. Toca boca. Uh, can you? Okay. Utility ducks. Mm-hmm. You told the ducks to swimming it's pool. A monster grow. A monster grow? Uh -huh. okay. I wonder I if you could turn those on now. To the swimming pool. Never mind. Mm, not important. Pool. You're thinking about writing that down, Jackie? No, I wanted to know if the uh, stoves could be turned on. Swimming pool's down. Oh, no, I didn't. Hmm. How many of them are there? Three? All of them in the swimming pool. Four. Four. Any reason for me to keep watching them? I guess not. Oh. There's nothing we could do. I guess you can come back to the main hall. That's them in the other dimension, right? Yeah. We can't interact with them. Oh, you Correct. see. This feels very, um, there's an episode of X-Files where uh, Mulder accidentally gets uh, transported back in time on a lost cruise ship uh, in the Bermuda Triangle. That's a, good, that's a good episode. It's a great episode. And, oh, look, there's Henry VIII. Hidden device detected behind. Um, torch it. Patriot. Oh, hang on. Baron of Sombre. Do I need to write these things down? I think we only really need the Baron. All right, so Baron of Sombre. All right, hang on. What's his number? 37. Burry is in U-R or E-R? B-U-R-Y. Yeah. B-U-R-Y. Good. And now the rest are all 35 to 41. So uh, if we need them, we'll come back for them. All right. Unless you want to write them down. No, I don't want to write them all down right now. I think so. Um, Panel access. So anyway, he gets he gets transported on a ship like that, and in the in the past, he meets like a I guess an ancestor of Scully. And there's a part where 
Scully is also, like, looking at the ship in the modern day, and then they, like, cross paths across the time, or whatever, across dimensional time, or whatever, and the two Scullys must, like, feel each other passing by, or whatever, and they both just kind of, like, go, like, what the hell? And that's what this reminds me of. It's, like, ships in the night. <laughs> <laughs> Should I be seeing something here? No. No, you, you don't have this information Alex. Yet. Although, I, I have to say, Henry VIII must be important for something. Bank vault, box 37. That's the Barons. Yeah. Torch the painting. <laughs> I don't torch the painting. Fucking torch it. Torch everything. Okay, so we want to go back to the library then. Oh, did you hear about who set off the fire in Bound Brook? No, who did? It was an arsonist. Really? It yes. was a huge fire. Yes. He set up a huge fire in an abandoned apartment building. God damn. Hello, is there anyone out there? I'm not going to believe this, but I'm locked in the main computer room. I wonder if you'd give me a hand. You'll need to find the captain's access code first, then come to the computer core and let me out. Computer core is off engineering. A vessel with this class of security feature that locks it if the vessel is boarded. Really, it's not a bad place to be locked in. I have complete access to the whole ship. Mm, who is it? You can download a program to the drones you are controlling. This will allow me to see what you're seeing. You can also stay in constant communication. Cool. Go ahead and download the program. An icon will appear in your lower left corner. Light up when I have some information to give you. Who is it? I don't know. Is that the, just the help? It's icon? AI. AI? Yeah, it's, a, it's the ship's AI. Yeah. Oh, is it? Cool. So is he just going to, like, is this just... <gasps> is this going to be like a hologram, like Voyager? <laughs> it's not. It's not Arthur, either. Oh, bummer. I liked Arthur. Oh, this has been nightclub. Are you creeps any good at math? I am two thirds of one hundred and three fourths of one thousand. I mean nothing to a miser and grief to a student. What am I? The Baron. Two thirds of one hundred and three fourths of one thousand. Nothing to a miser and grief to a student. Two thirds of one hundred is seventy five. I'm sorry, not seventy five. It says sixty six. And three fourths of a thousand is seven fifty. That's not the answer. Nothing it seems like it's like a dumb riddle, though. It is a dumb it's riddle. It's not just going to be. Uh, I know what the plus. I mean, nothing to a miser and grief to a student. They're here. Oh yeah, you guys keep thinking. I mean, nothing to a miser. No. That's not it. Mm. Hello. Hello. Sorry about the tunnel that's in the way, because Alex is ridiculous. Hi. <laughs> I got. I got. Yeah, she has. She's playing with her tablet right now. She has a tablet? Yeah, Grammy yeah. went crazy this uh, Christmas. I have a growing tablet. A growing tablet, yes. You are growing things on your tablet. What? Yeah. Hello, Abby. Hi there. Here, give me that so you can say hi to Dawson. Hi, Dawson. Hi, Abby. Uh, uh, long time no see. You mean nothing to a miser. How do you like being a big sister? I'm gonna move my arm. Oh, hold on a second. What's that? It's gotta be more literal. Yeah. Wait a minute. 100 is three le three numbers. Yeah. And then a thousand is four numbers. So yeah. three, four three fourths of a thousand is zero. Two thirds of a hundred is zero. Zero is nothing to a miser. And, and grief, zero to a grief to a student. Yep, zero. zero. Wait, what's happening? You got Something it. I'm a real. Oh, okay, okay. Calm down. I know. Uh, Go into the go into the card room and then we'll hey, save hey, it. Hey, calm down. The nightclub. Yeah, uh, nightclub. Oh. Abby, I mean, it's gonna be difficult with Abby elbowing me. Over here? And over Say and over. hi. Hello. Hi. Here, Al, can you? Uh... Yeah. I'll save it. All right, we are gonna save it and then we're gonna eat. Do we want to? I'll kill the stream in the meantime. Yeah, yeah we'll take a break, guys. Kill stream for a bit. Hello. Yeah, I'm sorry about the obstacle course. It's okay. It's okay. With the human beings. Hello.
Is this she wants to show me her bedroom. This is the replacement. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. So <laughs> by the way, your score is already eleven thirty-five. Oh, and I. Oh, we're like, blowing through the game. And, oh, you like, still have a lot. But we kept losing. I don't know. It, that's like we really we high. For... Alex went to. We were like, how are we gonna get this out of here? The old one. Alex. All right. Holds it over and it just. See you guys in a little bit. And it was. It was that close. It's probably just Alden, but yeah. I was just like. I've been holding the baby in this. I was just like, oh my god.